Where do you think that got away? Um, <clears throat> I, I, look, I think we fought really well throughout the game. Um, you know, being four or five down for very little, um, it was always going to be difficult to get to a half decent score. So, look, I, I think we were a little, a couple of runs short, um, but a hell of a fight from, from us. So, I think we can be proud. And you batted for nearly 15 overs in the middle. Uh, can you sum up what it was like batting on that pitch? Uh, tough. Um, it, it, I think there's quite a bit of invariable bounce off a hard length, and I think the South Africans executed their plans really well for the majority of the game. Um, and if you hit that hard length, the ball kind of either just kind of squats on you or, or goes through the top a little bit. So it's difficult to, to play, play cricket shots, um, and you could see that in the South African innings as well. Um, so, so it's tough conditions, but you know it is what it is, and both teams need to play on it, and, and you need to find a way to to score runs and get to a, a defendable and competitive total. Um, how much do you think would have been, been enough in the first innings there to win that game? Yeah, look, I, I think we had a, a brief chat, maybe you know, fifteen odd runs short. Um, but you know, in, in saying that, we, we got to a, we got something on the board, and, and I thought our bowlers bowled phenomenally well um, for for the majority of the game. So, yeah, you know, it, it would have been great to get to I, I suppose 120 odd, um, but yeah. And and just in general, you know, obviously the squad is missing a few players that are, have stayed in England. I mean, does that add to the sort of feeling of uh, almost a siege mentality? Does it help team spirit? Um, given that? Uh, I don't think so. Um, you know, the, the, the players that we are missing are, are fantastic players, but we've got massive confidence in our squad. And, and over the last 18 months, I'd say, you know, the, the culture and value system in, in us, like in, in the Dutch team, has been nothing short of phenomenal. So, you know, it would have been fantastic to have a couple of those players with us. Um, but, you know, the, the 15 that we have here are... are are really good cricketers and, and you know, we'll hopefully show that as the tournament progresses. So, Abraham, do you, um, you've been in the Netherlands a long time now, obviously, um, but, but how, how did it feel playing against South Africa and um, how much Afrikaans was spoken to you <laughs> during your innings? Um, yeah, look, it, it's actually super nice. I, I've got a really good relationship with, with a lot of the, the South African players and I think they're, they're a bunch of fantastic guys they're a world-class cricket team, um, so it, it's always fantastic. But it's it's always a massive privilege to play international cricket, you know. So whether it's against South Africa or, or any other team, so it's a massive privilege to be here. Um, and yeah, to play against South Africa is is always is always a massive challenge, and it's uh, it's good to you know to to spend some time and rub shoulders with some of the best in the world. Was there a bit of friendly chirping during your innings? Um, no, not really. Um, I, I think I, maybe maybe in the longer format there may be a little bit more, but ugh, in this format the guys just kind of get stuck in and and and, need, and do what they need to do. So, and so not not a lot. Obviously, now it's uh, Sri Lanka and Bangladesh coming up, uh, or Bangladesh and Sri Lanka coming up next. Um, how how will you approach those games, and how, what what are your feelings on on obviously with one victory under your belt? Do you, do you still believe that, that it's possible to win either one or or both of those games? <clears throat> Absolutely, we, we do believe that, that we can win both those games. Um, we're trying to take it one game at a time, so you know all of our focus and energy went into preparation for this game. Uh, we'll regroup as a unit, uh, you know, we'll, we'll take maybe a day or two off and, and then regroup and, and, and put in all of, our, all of our energy and all of our focus for the next game and, and try and execute our plans as good as possible. And, um, you know, I, I think the nice thing for us as a unit that we we very internally focus. So if we play our brand of cricket and uh, attacking cricket, we think we can compete with with anybody in the world. And obviously, um, the Netherlands have been one of the teams that have, shall we say, been had to kind of have to fly around quite a lot during this uh, during this period. I mean, how how has that affected preparations, and how has that affected you going into into the games? Is it what, what's it, what's the feeling in the in the team been like around all that? Um, Look, I think we're loving it. Um, you know, the, the privilege of, of seeing all of the different areas, you know, going to the West Indies now, you know, all of our guys are super excited. We don't, we don't get to do this very often. Um, so no issues with traveling around. We, we, we're enjoying it. Next question. 
Australia. Yeah. Uh, that's where we'll be here for the big snows.